Hello, today we will start a series of lectures about computer programming languages. There are dozens of programming languages used in the industry today. I will compile overviews of the most important and most popular languages. We will see the difference between low-level and high-level languages. As an introduction, what is programming? Simply, programming is talking to computers. A programming language is a formal language used to implement algorithms. So we implement algorithms comprising set of instructions to control or to produce various kinds of output. A computer program is a list of instructions that can be executed by a central processing unit, by a CPU. So computer programming languages allow us to give instructions to a computer in a language the computer understands. The portion of the language that a computer can understand is called binary. So all data in a computer system consists of binary information, like you see here in the figure. All data in a computer system consists of binary information. So binary means there are only two possible values, zero and one. Computer software translates between binary information and the information we actually work with on a computer such as decimal numbers, text, photos, videos, or sound. Binary information is sometimes also referred to as machine language since it represents the most fundamental level of information stored in a computer system. For some types of languages, in order to talk to computer, so we must first translate instructions to binary, I mean to machine code. Translating programming language into binary is known as compiling. A compiling process. In most languages, we need to compile our program to translate this program uh, that is formed of different instructions. We have to translate this program to binary, to a machine code. Many beginners in programming ask a question what programming language should we learn? This will vary from person to person. However, when considering which language to learn, we have to take into consideration these two questions. The first question is how easy is the language to learn? The second question is how useful will it be? The programming languages can be written in high-level or low-level languages. This depends on the task, also on the hardware being used. The two common types of low-level languages are the machine code and assembly language. So we have the machine language and assembly language. These are low-level languages. Examples of high-level languages are the C, C++ language, the Java, and Python. 
Machine language is the first generation. It's based on zero and one. Assembly languages are second generation. They are based on special code. The high level languages are third generation. Let's see the difference between high level and low level languages. The main difference is that programmers can easily understand or learn or interpret or compile the high level languages in comparison to low level languages. And thus, this is very useful for programmers. High-level languages are written in a form that is close to our human language, and this enables programmers to just focus on the problem being solved. On the other hand, machine can easily understand the low-level languages. Since the low-level languages are closer to the native language of a computer, I mean the binary language, and this makes them harder for programmers to understand. So low-level languages are machine-friendly language. High-level languages are programmer-friendly languages. Low-level is complex to maintain. High-level is simple. In low-level languages, no need for assembler to do the translation from the written code to machine code. Also, the program in low-level language requires less memory. In high-level languages, there is a need for a compiler or interpreter to do the translation. Low-level languages are tough to understand High-level languages are easy to understand and easy to modify. There are many computer programming languages that programmers can use to communicate through the computer. Each language is unique in how they operate. Each language has its own distinct features and use. To select which programming language should we use? We have to review the most popular and most used languages around the world. We have to take an idea about the use of each language. Here in this diagram, you can see a list of languages starting from machine language and assembly language to advanced high-level languages such as the C, C++, Python, Java, and c -sharp. Let's start with the machine language. Machine language is the language understood by a computer. It's very difficult to understand, but it's the only thing that the computer can work with. All programs and programming languages eventually generate or run programs in machine language. Machine language is made up of instructions and data that are all binary numbers. Machine language is normally displayed in hexadecimal form so that it's a little bit easier to read. Here is an example of machine language for the text hello world. So machine language, it's a numerical language, comprises binary digits, it's intended to run as fast as possible. Assembly language is a low-level programming language designed for a specific type of processor. It's often abbreviated .asm, ASM, assembly language. Assembly language instructions usually consist of a no-code mnemonic followed by a list of data, arguments, or parameters. These are translated by an assembler into machine language that can be loaded into memory and thus executed. 
Fortran language developed in 1957, it stood for the IBM Mathematical Formula Translating System. It was proved to be an efficient language for scientific, mathematical, and statistical computing. Also, it's still one of the oldest languages still used today. Pascal language was developed in 1970. It's named after a French physicist, mathematician, and philosopher, Blaise Pascal. It was based on algorithmic language. In Apple's early years, Pascal was the main language used for software development. And even today, it's still used to make Skype desktop applications, for example. It's also applicable to both commercial and scientific applications. C, C++ are compiled languages. They are object-oriented programming languages. So object-oriented helps to make maintainable and extensible programs. So large-scale applications can be built. Object-oriented allows to divide complex problems into smaller sets by using objects. C++ runs on lots of platforms like Windows, Linux, and Unix. You can also use C++ to develop games, desktop applications, operating systems, and so on. And note that Google Chrome's web browser Adobe Photoshop, Game Engine, all these were developed using C++. So in this kind of programming, we need to build our source code, and this needs to be compiled to be then converted into machine code. Python is a high-level scripting language. It's a scripting language. It's among the top most popular programming languages in the world. Python is often used for its simplicity. It requires fewer lines of code than many other programming languages. It's used in a wide variety of applications. It's used in web and software development. In education, business applications, games, also in scientific computing. Data analysis and artificial intelligence are two additional strengths of this language. Python is used by organizations like Wikipedia, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Instagram. Some video games also use Python. Java is the most popular programming language it's an object-oriented programming language with automatic memory management. It's used in almost every aspect of development, including web and desktop applications. c -sharp was created by Microsoft. It's an object-oriented programming language based on C++ and is very similar to Java in many aspects. It was developed with the initial goal of blending the computing ability of C++ with the simplicity of Visual Basic. c -sharp is used in almost all Microsoft products. So we have seen a description of the most popular languages that are used around the world. This is our first lecture in programming. Wait us for new lectures, for future lectures, especially in assembly language programming and in Python programming. Thank you for listening.